In this video, I will show you how to see deleted messages on Discord. So let's get straight into it. This is actually quite easy to do and you can do this completely free. So just follow along with this video to learn how to see deleted messages. So what I'm going to do first is if I come into my Discord and basically if I send this person a message and then delete it, you'll see that as per normal. I'm not going to see that message, but there is a way to actually see any messages that have been deleted, including messages sent to yourself. So what you want to do first is make sure you have better Discord. Now, if you don't have that, then I have done a video on my channel. So make sure you have a look on the channel and find the video to install better Discord. So once you've got better Discord installed, what you're going to want to do is open up google.com and what you want to type is lighties with a Y better Discord. And then you want to click on this top one, the GitLab link. So you just want to click that to come across to a website that's going to look like this. And what you're going to do from here is actually look for this one, which is called Message Logger version 2. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and click the download button underneath. So if it comes up with this, it's just my antivirus software. You just want to keep, keep um, I mean, it's completely safe to use. And once that's downloaded, what you want to do is give that a click to open it. And it's going to come up with a setup wizard like so. So you just want to click open and it's going to come up with a couple of pop-ups. So once you get to this pop-up here saying do you need some help, what you can do is just click yes here. And what that's going to do is add this plugin to your uh, Discord. So you can see it's opened up the plugins folder. You can see it's been added mm -hmm. like so. So now what we need to do is go back into Discord and enable this. So I'm just going to open up Discord. As you can see, I'm using the Discord app, but if you do use the web-based application, the steps are exactly the same. So what you want to do from here is come down to the settings. So if you come to the bottom left-hand corner, you want to click onto this little gear icon down here. And then what you want to do is scroll down this menu on the left-hand side until you get to the very bottom, this better Discord section. And then what you want to do is click onto plugins. So you can see that mine's actually showing up here it's because I chose to add it when that pop-up window came up. But if you didn't get that pop-up window or if for any reason it didn't appear, what you can do is click the blue open plugins folder up here. What it's going to do is open up the plugins folder so you can actually manually add the plugin from here. You just double click it and that's going to add it into better Discord. So once that's done, it's all you need to do is simply click the toggle button up here to activate this. It's going to download some additional plugins. We can just get rid of all this. It's just all about updates and stuff. So we're just going to do this, get rid of these update windows. Make sure you click download now on these. Okay, so you can see what's happened. It's installed two additional plugins and these plugins are needed to run the message logger. So what you want to do now is make sure all three of these are enabled. So these two additional plugins you want to enable as well, like so. And then what you can do is just come out of here and then what we're going to do is send a message again and this time when we go to delete the message you'll see what's going to happen is that it's not going to delete fully i'm still able to see this message and it does highlight it in red to show that this is a deleted message and the same would apply if someone was to send you a message and it got deleted you would see the message highlighted in red like so so you can see again, I go to delete message, click delete, and it doesn't delete fully. It's still there, just highlighted in red. So I hope this video helped you out today. And if this did help you out, then please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. And if you are looking for more tutorials, tips, and tricks for Discord, then be sure to click the on-screen prompt. And that's going to take you across to a current playlist of my current tutorials, tips, and tricks for Discord. So I just want to take a minute to thank you for watching and with that being said I will see you guys in the next one.